In 1977, the women who established the Women's History Project began planning a Women's History Week with March 8th as a focal date. Well, 10 years later, a week turned into a month, and this month, the women of Toledo are celebrating. This actually is our first official International Women's Day event. Rethink the possibilities. What if we had equal pay today? It's time. It really is time for us to take our place. We contribute so much and we're not recognized for it. We're here today because of the women's issues, right? Or, or even just, um, just wanting to, to get our rightful place in, in mainstream, whether it's work, whether it's media, whether it's um, um, the home or anything. So I think this is it's, it's gorgeous. It's great to be here. I just want to encourage each one of you as you sit in your seat, you know, first, spend some time as you're listening getting clear on your own perspective about women's economic empowerment, about press forward for progress. Be thinking about what does that mean for you? What are your thoughts about that as you listen? And then also, you know, can you, can you hear in all of this a call to action for you? This is something that each one of us has to own on, our, on ourselves. We have to own it. We have to decide what is my next right action. Women have just been pushed to the background all this time and we really didn't think we had a voice. And as more women are speaking up, and you see that happens, it happened in the 20s, it happened in the 60s, it's happening now. Um, as women speak up, then other women can hear them and they're like, whoa, I like what she's saying, I believe that too, I think I'm going to say it. And that's how we get things going. I'm just proud to see this, I mean look at this place, it's gorgeous, you know, just to see um, women putting together something like this. I'm a recent immigrant. I immigrated to the United States in 2016 and I had my second child here and I already feel like I'm going to Leo. I believe in you. I believe in, you know, being equal as a citizen in the United States. I signed my name on the line to give my life for my country. And I know others in this room, if you are a veteran, stand up. Stand with me. As time goes by, I mean, time is a great healer in a lot of things, and it's a great equalizer too. So you know, I mean, certainly, I am, I'm, I just miss being a baby boomer, if you will. And so certainly, the baby boomer women probably went through a lot more, but they paved the path for people like me. I'm a Gen X, you know. And now with the younger uh, folks, the Gen Y and the Millennials, I think it's going to be very different because for them this is normal, you know. They do not have have possibly the the stress and the burdens that the baby boom women carried with them because they were out there blazing the trail. Uh, us Gen Xers could kind of follow along, and I'm hoping the Gen Ys and the Millennials are going to have it a lot easier. Um, and hopefully by the time um, you know kids. Of, you know, our kids grow up, this will be hopefully a non-issue. We have power, and when we're all together, we give each other power. And, you know, I love that, because then we can take that away from here and go out and make a difference. I think we'll know we're making progress in Toledo when we sell out the Seagate Center, and there's as many men in the room as there are women in the room today. If you want to unleash your superpower, register for the Women Empowerment Summit. Just head to womenoftoledo.org. I'm Bridget Burnett of The Daily Downtown.